Hello people, welcome to this course. In this course, I will show you how you create a website with Elementor and with starter gates. Right over here, you can drag and drop and type whatever you want with the visual builder, section 1 for example. And for example, we're gonna type here, easy editing and easy way. And right over here, we're gonna enter whatever you want. And we're gonna go further. So, also this is pretty easy to edit, learn and design without JavaScript or without coding. So, and over here, we create different names, different styles, no coding needed, just like I said before, and just WordPress and Elementor. You can upload images into your site with a few easy clicks, and this will be upload or Elementor. Who we are, and right over here, I'm going to show you an example how you upload the image. Select files, and this one. And you can do this for every image in your website. That's so pretty easy. So this is just a quick overview of what you can do with Elementor and with Starter Kits. So I hope you enjoyed, and let's take a look at the site. It's looking amazing in my opinion. So okay, it's looking great. I hope you will enroll, and I hope I will see you in my course. Let's talk. Let's start. Hello people, the first thing that we need to do is get hosting. We are gonna do that at hostgator.com. So hosting is where you save your, and manage your website. So we're gonna click on the get started button. And we will wait until it's loaded. And you have three kind of plans. You have the hatchling plan, the baby plan, and the business plan. I highly recommend to use the baby plan because with the hatchling plan, you can only host a single domain. And with the baby plan, unlimited domains, websites. So, um, we are going to choose for this. So, I'm going to click on Buy Now. It took a while. Okay, it took you to a, to a page like this. So enter here domain, for example, domain courses 12. This will be your uh, name for your website. And I uh, chose a good name. So a good name is really important. So here, right over here, um, select the baby type, the baby plan. And not for three years years but for one month so you can always cancel your subscription if you don't like it and right over here you enter your email address your password a security pin etc and your billing information you can pay with paypal or with credit card you really need hosting because without hosting you can't install wordpress so right over here you don't need us additional services and you will get discount so it will only cost you twenty dollar for one month and agree the terms of service. Okay, and after we did that, we are going to um, install WordPress. So I will teach you how you create your very own hosting account at bytehost.com. So the first thing we need to do is sign up. I'm gonna click on free hosting plans right over here. I'm gonna scroll down and I will click here on sign up for a plan. Okay, after you so after you did that, make sure that you type in the domain .com. So otherwise your sign up won't be verified. It can take up to 10 minutes before it's in your mailbox. In this video, I will show you how to use your hosting cPanel. This is your cPanel. We are going to install WordPress in this. So I'm going to navigate to the WordPress Softelicus Soft installer. So I will scroll down. And there it is, the WordPress Manager by Soft Lakers. So I'm gonna click on it, and I'm gonna hit the blue button to install WordPress. That is the CMS system that we are going to use. I'm gonna select my primary domain, and I enter here my blog name, 
for example, your blog name. Okay, right over here, HTTP dot, and here your admin username and your password. Choose whatever you want. Make sure it's a strong password. And right over here, you get your admin email. Okay, it's really important to uh, enable the classic editor because we are going to work with the classic editor right over here. And okay, we don't gonna install a team yet, but we're gonna hit the install button. Okay, it's loading. WordPress is installing right now. That's great. So we will wait. And there it nearly is. So it's gonna go really fast on some computer internet connections. Depends on your internet connection speed. 25th, 27. Okay, in this video, I will show you how to install WordPress. Go to your cPanel, and when I click on cPanel, it's loading your control panel where you can control your website. And right over here, we are on the cPanel, and we are going to scroll down a little bit for the WordPress installer. So right over, let me think, right over there. Okay, there is it. Double click on it, and you see that I have a lot of WordPress installations, because I love WordPress. I hit the installation button, again, and right over here I select my primary domain, and here you can, you must keep this empty, but this is just for the course, so I enter Brissy course, because the course is about Brissy, and I will scroll down and enter here my admin username and my password, I change it after I do this, so, and right over here I'm gonna click on install. And it's loading right now. And we will wait until the installation is done. So WordPress is a really good system to build websites with. You don't need any coding experience. That's the, that's the good part of it. So we can create websites in minutes, and you can do l let you can do everything with WordPress from a small blog to up to a social network. So it's great. Okay, so um, it's still installing. I didn't skip the video. And we will wait until the installation is loaded and we go to the control panel. So I click on the control panel on the link. Okay, that's great. You successfully installed WordPress on your web server. That's a good milestone. So I really uh, appreciate that you're watching my videos. If you're thinking about le leaving a review, I should appreciate it. A honest review. So I will see you soon.